Ready? Do you need a wee? Maybe. Maybe not. No. You're going to be sick? No! Are you better? Hmm. Okay, let's go. Hmm. Hello everybody, welcome to week, is it nine or ten? Ten. Ten. Week ten! How time flies when you're not counting the days. We don't need that just yet. <coughs> welcome to week ten. Uh, we are going to do a couple of activities this week. Is it half term this week as well? Woohoo! No work and it's totally different from all the other weeks that we've Yay, just had. no more independent writing! Oh, apart from your scout homework. So, <coughs> without further ado... <coughs> Stand up. Troop! Troop alert! No, the other way. Stand at ease. Maybe we could do a whole video full of close order drill. Right, now be sensible. Shoulder width apart, hands behind your back, chin up, chest out. Look straight, eyes front. Okay, troop, troop alert. Hands down by your sides. Let's try that again. Stand at ease. Troop. Troop alert. <laughs> no, feet together. <sighs> Glad we can do this in as many takes as we need to. Right. Stand at ease. Troop. Troop alert. No, not jumping. Just one foot moves. Stand at ease. Just that foot moves. Ready? Troop. Troop alert. No! That foot. Stand at ease. Troop, troop alert. Better. <laughs> but this one's going wrong. Oh, apart from your arms. Stand at ease. <laughs> Don't jump. Okay. Troop, troop alert. Finally. <laughs> Begin. One, two, three. Who are, are we? We, we are, are beavers, beavers can't you see? see? Jolly good. Break the flag. Oh, come on, quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you meant to be. Okay, now we'll do our best. Jolly good. Cubs, do your best. We will do our best. Jolly good. Break the flag. By the time you're a scout, you might have it ready. Okay, the news. So, I hope some of you have been starting to join in uh, the Zoom uh, meetings that we've been having. We've also been having new members moving up from one unit to another, and even some fresh investitures, which have been done with social distancing in mind through Zoom. Um, we don't know what's going to happen in the future once the schools open, uh, but I guess slowly and surely we might be uh, filtering units back into face-to-face -to -face meetings. But we certainly won't be playing rugby or bulldog or any other game that involves getting too close. No fish in a barrel. We might play the everyone sit in the corner game. Oh, maybe. The okay. dice game. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll teach people how to play that next week, okay? Aww. Why I not this week? Because I haven't got enough dice to, to play it. Who cares? <laughs> right, anyway. So, this week, I'm uh, going to do a little bit outside, a little bit inside. We've actually got a task uh, for you scouts uh, to do. Mm. All sections. Um, like certain people did, or like the Scouts did during the First World War, they had tasks to do. Uh, we have a socially distant but very important task for you guys. Ready? First thing, let's go to the garden. 
You ready? Or are you sulking? Only if you can do that dice game today. Okay. No, I won't. Ready? To the garden. One, two, three. <laughs> So we're in the garden this week and what we're going to be doing is work how to make a compass on the ground, an accurate compass. Because uh, which way is north? Mm. Possibly. Are you sure it's exactly in that direction or is it just generally sort of vaguely in that direction? Vaguely. Vaguely. So we're going to make an accurate compass. Uh, now what we need is a big long stick so have a look around the garden if you haven't got any in your garden maybe on I one of your visits to the park or the woods <laughs> and put it in the ground well for better and accurate results you need a big long stick big long stick no, you're gonna break it. Oh yeah. Uh, Do we have a big long stick anywhere? Uh, yeah. Okay. So a big long stick. So we need to put that into the ground. There you go. You put it in. You might need to knock a bit of a pilot hole in. If the uh, if your ground's gone so solid because it hasn't been raining for so long, <laughs> right? So we got our long stick. Now at the very end, where the shadow is, we're going to put a marker. Okay, and we're going to see what happens to the shadow in 15 minutes. What can we do for 15 minutes? Let's have a cup of tea. Yeah. And a game of chess. Now we're looking. Right. Okay, so we've had 15 minutes, and as you can see, the shadow has moved. Have we got another rock mm -hmm. to show where our Wait, shadow is? Wait, are we going to. So now we need, so we've got our two rocks as to where the shadow's it's been. 15 minutes, one hour. No, that's a quarter of an hour. So two fifteens are, two fifteens? Uh, I don't know. Um, Half an hour. 13. 13. Ah, oh, I can't miss. Would you stop kicking the rocks? Okay, no, because you need to, if you want it more accurate, um, leave it for longer and then you'll get a better accuracy. So, we need a straight stick. Can you find me a straight stick? <laughs> Can I just quickly knock you out? No. Oh, I never get to have Have you got a straight stick? So, if we lay our stick between these two... But you can also actually use me, because I've got a shadow. So, the straight stick is now your east and west line. So if we get another straight stick... Another straight stick. How long? Mm, same length. A thin one, a little one. Okay, and another one. Is it a great one because it's shorter? No, that'll do. Give me all of that. Really? Yeah. No, I'm pretty No, I need a longer stick. Just give me the other bit. Just give me all of it! Right, so... This, wait, I found a small... I've got one! So I don't need it. I think no. I need a little bit longer. So, you've got your stick, which is pointing east and west. 
and then if you put one perpendicular to it that's your north and south and generally south is going to be where is where the sun's pointing so that's going to be south so this one's going to be <coughs> north. that one's going to be east and this one's going to be west good and that is south good so there we are on the ground our accurate compass if you want it accurate maybe leave it for a whole hour um, before you move these uh, but that's pretty much how you work it out work out which way is north now the other thing you can do say if you've got a, uh, a stick that you don't mind leaving permanently is just at each point at time lay a rock at so if it's one o'clock lay a rock there maybe even decorate it and mark it with one or even just put one rock and then come back at two o'clock wherever the shadow is put two rocks uh, wherever the shadow is at three o'clock put three rocks and then we can make a sundial okay so have a go at that so, knot of the week this week is a very appropriate knot. Can you do the camera work then? So that you can get closer. <laughs> it is the handcuff knot. Excellent. So, it's a little bit similar to, uh, well, it starts a little bit like a clove hitch. Uh, so, we get our rope. And we're going to do two circles. Now, let's see, from the angle that you're doing it, uh, we're going to make a circle, with this bit on top. And we'll make another circle with this bit on top. Ooh, if you did that, it'd be just like a clove hitch. It's not quite that far. We're just going to overlap them. Then we're going to push this bit under there and pull this bit up over here now then this is the beginnings of a handcuff knot so all we need is a willing victim Me? yeah to put his hands forward our miscreant <laughs> thief of the sweeties at a certain address in Ormskirk. My oh, hurts. All right. Yep. So we got them, and then pull. Please help me. <laughs> so we pull that tight, and we've got a handcuff knot. Now. Because he keeps wriggling and trying to get out of it. <laughs> if we then tie a few half hitches through this. <laughs> uh, right. Fair enough. Right. So let's go back to where we were. <laughs> I was free. So. I can't believe it just a loop, broke free out of a, a hand. Loop. Oh, no. Wow. Fold them over. Pull them through. Now, if you've got a wriggly customer where you need to tighten it and stop it from undoing... I do my feet instead. If you tie a half hitch at each end, like that... Use my feet. And a half hitch yeah. at this end, like that. And that will tighten it up so that it can't come undone. The handcuff knot. Excellent. Right, you all should have had an email over the past week about cards for kindness. Um, you might not realise, or you may realise, that uh, the vulnerable people at risk from this disease are all the people who are a little bit older than me. Unfortunately, a lot of them uh, and there's been a lot of press about how they're stuck in their care homes 
Um, and you might not realise that even though there's been a lot of them getting infected, to stop that, they've been stuck in their rooms uh, since this all began. So while you think it's bad that you've been stuck in your house, you've not been stuck in your bedroom 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, and they're not allowed visitors. They just have the carers coming in, uh, looking after them, delivering their food. Uh, so they can't really have much social life. So, cards for kindness, because we can't go and visit them and risk bringing the virus in. But what we can do is write letters to them. So what we'd like you to do is if you go on the link on the, uh, the website or even just write a card to somebody in a care home, uh, tell them about yourself, what you're doing, how you're managing uh, and tell of some of the exciting things and how it's starting to look better. And if you write that letter, take a picture of it. If you email it into uh, the Scouts where email address, uh, we'll print them, print them all off together and we'll send them to one of the local care homes uh, around autumn. So, there's two versions. Well, you can also colour them in and draw a picture, but I'm sure words would be better. Wouldn't they? Michael. So, let's write a letter. Can you write a letter to somebody living in that care home that we just passed? Uh, I don't know what to write. Well, let's think about it. Dear blank. Nine. 9%. Okay, we'll have to make this quick. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this week. We've got to uh, get outside, make yourself a sundial, work out, make yourself a compass uh, using shadows. And if you write a letter, take a picture of it, email it into the photos at ninthorbskirk.org.uk email address. Uh, we'll collate them all together and we'll get them off to the relevant care home uh, of people that need it. And if we start getting replies, we'll send them out back to you. Uh, and practice your handcuff knot. I know who I'm going to be practicing it on. Ooh. Okay, ready? One. We could do it for one. Um, what are we doing next week? It's half term. There might be some Zoom. Keep your eye on the emails for Zoom invitations for scouts, cubs. Uh, I've not quite worked it out with beavers yet, um, but we'll we'll work on it. Okay, okay. Eyes closed, hands together. Thank you. For this day, for my food and for my play. Now my evening thanks I bring for beaver friends and everything. Amen. Triple up. Glad we didn't have to do that in lots of takes. I. I promise to do my best to be kind and helpful until I've gone. Say it again properly. I promise to do my best to be kind and helpful until I've gone. Good. Take the flag down. Saluted okay. on the way down. Okay, troop. That is <coughs> troop alert. <coughs> Good night, all. Dismiss. <coughs> Better. Have you trumped? No, you have. Oh.